Hi, this is Heath from vMix. If you're running vMix on a Windows 11 machine, especially a laptop, there are a few things you should be aware of when it comes to audio. Windows 11 and some audio devices don't always play nice in programs like vMix. This is because they can decide that the audio coming in or out of vMix needs enhancement or filtering when in fact it doesn't. Typically, in vMix, you'll want to keep your audio as pure as possible for streams and recordings, or you'll want to manage and control the enhancements and filtering yourself using things like VST3 plugins, and not leave it up to Windows 11 to decide. So if you're experiencing any audio issues, such as voices cutting in late or cutting out early, echoey soundstage where it sounds a bit like things are in a big tin shed, or maybe instruments not coming through from a mixer while vocals do, then turning off some of these settings in Windows 11 might help. Before I step you through some of these common settings for many machines, know that there are a number of places that these audio effects could be turned on by default, and some of them may be specific to your machine. Start by looking for any software provided by your laptop manufacturer, the motherboard or GPU manufacturer, and look for audio settings, including terms like enhanced audio, AI noise reduction, echo reduction, audio filtering, stuff like that. Try turning these off and see if you notice a difference. Because there's so many manufacturers out there and all of them have different software with different names, I'll leave this part to you. Next, we'll look at some of the more common settings. We'll do this by going to the Windows Sound Settings by right-clicking on the speaker icon right here. Here we go to Sound Settings. And then under this section, we scroll down until we find all sound devices. Clicking on that, we're given the output devices, which are speakers, and the input devices, which are typically microphones or audio mixers. Under each and every one of these devices, we need to go looking for audio enhancements. So we click on the first one and scroll down. And under audio enhancements, we set this to off. Then go back and continue the process. Under the input devices, we set this to off. And again, to off. The next thing that we're going to do is go to the Realtek Audio Console. So to do that, we go to the Start menu and we start typing the program name. Realtek Audio Console, there it is. We click on that and we go to the speakers and we look for noise cancellation. So there it is there, we'll turn that off. And under the microphone array, we will turn off the omnidirectional AI noise reduction by going to all off. So if you've been experiencing audio issues in Windows 11, I hope that one of those things has helped fix it. If not, I'd suggest that you head to our website to take a look at our forums and our support resources there. We have stacks of help documentation, knowledge base articles, and training videos. You can also email us from there. Our team love helping you out so that you can get the most out of vMix. And if you've got any other tips for Windows 11 that I didn't mention that might improve audio quality in vMix, feel free to share these in the chat. If not, that's okay. Maybe just tell us what your favorite warm beverage is. Mine's probably a jar of hot chocolate. And lastly, just before I go, if you are interested in managing your audio in vMix to apply functional enhancements and filters, then remember that vMix supports many live VST3 plugins like noise suppressors, compressors, plosive reducers, volume riders, you name it. You may want to check out our video that shows you how to get started with this, so I've linked it in the description. Otherwise, see you later. Could really go a jar of hot chocolate now.